Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Jessica from Millionaire Forex Society. I am gonna go over how we analyze EURNCD. And um, I have a couple of students on here, so if they have any questions, they're going to ask. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So you can see this is um, Euro New Zealand. Excuse me. And what I'd like to do firstly is just go, you know, we can start at the daily here. And um, I traded this before. If you follow my charts, you can see that I had an area around here um, that was really, really nice um, as far as like being respected for the most part. And here we go. She came close to my take profit area, which was really nice. If you see my markup, the take profit was hit, but she's now at a level where she could be, um, be resisting, okay? So she's at a resistance level, and right now we're looking to take her down just for the pullback. Now, I know a lot of people are anticipating this trade to go down a lot. Um, at the moment, I, I'm not looking for that. I'm looking to trade the pullback. And the reason why I say that is because for market structure purposes. So as we can see on the daily time frame, this pair has created higher lows and higher highs, which symbolizes an uptrend. Now she's hit a very, uh, a, a really good level that has been respected at the moment. We have a reversal candle pattern at the moment, and it's a bearish, I should say, candle pattern, giving us some, um, some bearish momentum. So what I'm looking to see is basically, I'm looking to take this down. I'm looking to take this down towards an area of market structure, and that's gonna be like around this area. Now, as you can see here, what was once resistance became support. And what I'm trying to see is if she can come back down here, okay? Now you may be asking yourself, why didn't you choose this area? This, this area right here, this high. Well, she wasn't able to basically land on top of this resistance and make it support. So there wasn't enough strength for that to occur. And she actually came underneath it. She came underneath it, she retested it to basically confirm that she's gonna be moving down for a little bit. So I'm trying to take advantage of this move right here. All right, now there's a couple things she can do from this area she can come down here and continue going up to this level to create a higher high and still have some bullish momentum. Or she can do this and completely reverse on us. She can come down here, excuse me, break out of it, close below, and then go ahead and reverse. And then we have a change in direction. Now at the moment, I'm not looking for a long-term sell until I see this lowest low basically compromised and confirmed to go ahead and take it down to the next lows or levels that I'm looking for, okay, to take profit at. I just wanna take advantage of this move right here. And another reason why I wanna take advantage of this move is if you draw your Fibonacci from the low to the high for the buy, Okay, you can see that it's basically in a sell area zone, okay? A sell area zone or a entry zone, excuse me, not sell area, an entry zone. This is an entry area. So my, my safe take profit taking this down is going to be in between this entry, just in case she decides to reverse on us and go back, okay? So let me delete this. What I am looking to do is I am looking to take her down to a safe area, which is around here, just in case that she continues to go up. I'm prepared. I've taken profits and I'm prepared if she decides to go up. If not, I'll wait for some more confirmation and get back in, in the continuation or take partial profits and hold it. It just depends. It's that's further on in the week. So I'm not going to rush this process. So now we have an idea of what area we would like to um, potentially take profit at. So let's go down to the four hour. So what we did here was pretty simple, okay? We, for an initial entry, we could have drawn a really nice trend line. Uh, let's see.
And what we were looking for was basically the breakout in some form of a retest. Now she wasn't able to come back and retest to the top of this trend line. However, she went ahead and retested that structure that we discussed on the daily zone. So she was able to close below, giving us confirmation that she is going to go down. So we got that. We got that indication that we can go ahead and take this down. This trend line that was respected one, two, three times was compromised on the fourth time, giving us an indication that we can have a little bit of a change of direction on the smaller time frame. And this is how we're going to take advantage of this move. So we're going to delete this trend line because we're done with it. We now have, if you want, we can do this. I'm going to zoom in just so can see, we can see that we have a small downtrend occurring, okay? And I'm gonna go down to the one hour, just so it doesn't look so crazy. Here we go. So we have one touch and two touch. Now our team was looking at this trade and what we personally did before all of this occurred, um, we basically used our Fibonacci from this high to this low and we looked for an entry between the 61 and 71 area. Okay, now why are, why are we looking at this? Well, the reason why we wanna look at this area is because this is below our trend line. It's below our daily market structure area that has been violated and respected, okay? And the market has been unable to penetrate this. And we have a trend line, which are very, very strong indications. So we have our Fibonacci level, we have a trend line and we have a daily area that was one support now becoming resistance. These are what we call high probability trades. And to make this even a higher probability trade, if you study flag formations, you can see that we have the bearish pull, our pullback, and our breakout and our retest right now to go ahead and confirm that downward momentum. Lots and lots and lots of just confluence Another thing that we can look at here on a bigger time frame or a bigger scale, excuse me, is that we have left shoulder, head, right shoulder, and basically she's kind of retesting a little bit and going down. Okay, it's a little ugly, but you get the picture. Lots of just confluence. This is where I personally will put high lot sizes on trades. I've got so many reasons to take this trade down. So many reasons, okay? So the first area that we can look at to TP, if you are more of a short-term trader, is we can just use basic market structure, okay? We have this area, which is a low. We have this area right here, which is a low. And then we have this area. So these are all levels that you can look at to take profit or take partial profits, secure your stop loss, bring it into break even, and take advantage of the full move of the trade. Now, if you don't want to do that, oops, my drawing tool's on. Let me delete this one. You can wait for the following. You can wait for the market to do this. You take profit, wait for your breakout, wait for it to come back to confirm that it's not going to violate this trend line and take it down. You can wait for it to do the same thing. This would be an opportunity for another entry. Take it down to the next area. So now you have one trade that is high probability because you analyze it on the higher time frame, and it's given you multiple opportunities as long as it respects, excuse me, this trend line, okay? As long as this trend line continues to be respected, it will give you opportunities to ride this entire move without looking at a million and one charts. And now you are in a high probability trade and all you see is blue. That's it. You guys have questions? No, I think it looks good. Right, she's real pretty. It's a real pretty setup. We've been patiently waiting for this. I might have to go mark her up. Yeah, mark her up and send it to me um, so we can just see. But it's, I mean, this is a really pretty markup. Again, my only concern with this pair at the moment is that is that fib level that 61 fib level for a continuation so there's a couple of ways that she can she can do it she can go ahead and hit that 61 fib on the daily 
continue to the top and make a double top before she goes down. Or she can totally break this area right here and retest and then we have a really strong confirmation of a downtrend. So I'm gonna really be focusing on this pair for the next couple of probably days or weeks. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording.